Welcome back. Well, we have two gentlemen here on behalf of the Astronomy Club. We have Stuart and Joe. Well, welcome both of you. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Good Thank morning. You. And there's always some interesting stuff going on in space, and I love the fact yes. that you guys cover the gamut. Now, the last meeting you had was about someone that was building uh, satellites. Cube, CubeSat technology. CubeSat yeah. technology, very cool. But before we get into some of the bit uh, about astronomy, tell me about yourselves. Um, Stuart, tell me how you got into the Astronomy Club. I think somebody shared a notice about it, and I went to the meeting, and then I found out that the president and the treasurer were both retiring. Mm -hmm. And Joe was going to be the next president, so I went uh, over and said, hey, I am an accounting background, so oh. I can do that and I can automate it, and the rest is history. And God sent him to <laughs> us. <laughs> well, you must have an interest in astronomy, of course. Always, but I didn't really know a lot about the night sky. Oh, really? So I've learned a lot in the last year, even bought a telescope. Mm -hmm. Did you know? Yeah. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> and how about you? And then, actually, I've been a resident for um, eight years, but my parents moved here 10 years ago. Okay. And I was at Vandenberg Air Force Base working with the military space program. Ah. And a woman, Nancy, um, asked me if I would come and speak to the club. So I actually did a presentation for them before I lived here. Oh, no kidding. And then as I came here, yeah, I was involved, um, not real heavily, but um, when I found out last year that they were going to disband after 50 years, oh, I thought, that's not good. I mean, yeah. This is such a <clears throat> gemstone of the community. Right. And that was John Haig and Ellen Lamb that did a great job the last 15 years running everything. And they both decided to step down. So yeah, we had a, a mass urgency asking, can people help out? And Stuart happened to be at that meeting, I think. We spoke about a year ago when I shared that with you, that yeah. we don't know if we're going to survive I, Oh, not. that's right. I do remember that. Yeah, that's we right. did a Zoom meeting. <clears throat> right. And then um, we had the follow-up meeting, and Stuart said, hey, I might be able to help out, and a few other people. And yeah. so we bolted together a team and tried to pick up the ball. And um, Dr. Deming uh, <clears throat> uses a term when an organization comes together of you form, storm, norm, and then perform. You have to go through <laughs> those steps. But we formed a group, we were storming elbows, and yeah. then we started normalizing who does what so, yeah. and figure out who's covering the Facebook, who's doing the emails, and Good. really came together nicely. Um, myself and Stuart, and then uh, Christine Kemp is the okay. third leg of this okay. core stool that's okay. really, um, I feel really happy <laughs> with what we, how we not only uh, allowed it to survive, but right. we've more than doubled the membership and Excellent. have done some new things. And Excellent. It's been a really exciting year, yeah. Well, you know, it's yeah. really important because I don't think we get enough of it really in, you know, you get a little bit of it in school, but most of the folks mm -hmm. here, you know, that's a long time ago. And so now we see some things on on the TV about the Hubble and some other yeah. amazing photos now that are coming out of Mars. So a lot of this stuff you certainly would love to learn about. And of course, up behind me, we've got asteroids and comets. And what did mm -hmm. they just do the other day but run something into an asteroid? They successfully intercepted an asteroid seven million miles away to deflect its course right. the first time ever. Right. And right. that's, you know, our best theory is that that's what caused the dinosaurs to go extinct. And that could that could be our fate, in the, and we may not even know about it. Right. But now that's what that's what I think is a core message too is that astronomy is not just theoretical science about what might have happened five billion years ago. I mean, we just figured out we're on this little ball together, flying through space, <laughs> and we might run into something. And we have the. We don't want to think about that though. Yeah. Don't worry, folks. It's okay. <laughs> but we don't rely on Bruce Willis. So we yeah, now, no, can see yeah. no, I know exactly. for sure. But for that sure. was really historic to prove yeah. that we can see something. And that wasn't a threat, by the way. What they intercepted, they didn't yeah. save the planet, but they wanted to demonstrate yeah. that we could launch, intercept, and then right. deflect it. Right. And it looks like that was totally successful, right. which is uh, pretty historic. Well, it's important that you educate the folks that you have here in your club and, and yes. wherever you do your presentations. Because, you know, this takes money. And there are things that come across maybe on a voting scale where you would want people to be educated about what's happening out there so you can continue that money to flow uh, into those programs so we can explore. Yeah. The other message on that is, isn't just the core science technology, but our daily lives, like yeah. being able to visualize Hurricane Ian oh, last sure. week yeah. and to know yeah. where it's tracking, that's all practical application of astronomy technology, basically, to okay. be able to look at ourselves from space 
that's only because our ancestors were curious. Could I ever get up there someday? And yeah. I'm sure everybody told them they're crazy, but now we're doing it. We can yep. fly into outer space and, and observe ourselves. Yeah. So it's really, a, and from cell phones to your banking to entertainment, right. it's, it's really on a daily basis we take it for granted, not just yes. the agriculture part of understanding the cycle of the right. sun and everything, yeah. but but our, our daily lives are really affected right. by this. So. Well, look at how many times the sun has a, a burst and all of a sudden yeah. your cell phones don't work. Right, <laughs> right. Or the aurora, right. Yeah, you definitely need to know uh, more about these things. So, so let's talk about uh, the event that you do have coming up. So it's, uh, oh, it's uh, asteroids and comets. Yes. So what? When? tell me about it. Well, that's that's our next meeting. It, okay. It's in, um, today's the 6th, so uh, math in public, 13 days from now. <laughs> and it's Wednesday night, which is our usual meeting. The third Wednesday of each month, we have a guest speaker that's people with expertise in different fields. And um, Spencer Murray is with Orange County Astronomers. That's another oh, relationship sure. that we've built with an uh, outside organization. Excellent. And he's a very dynamic speaker, and um, it'll be I'm sure it'll be very interesting. And like yeah. we mentioned about the, the value of astronomy, we right. think that should probably be required every <laughs> every resident be a member of the well, astronomy Well, I mean, club. the way Grace was talking about it, she was just blown away. And certainly when oh, somebody nice. looks through a telescope and they see Saturn or Jupiter or any yes. of the ones that you don't normally see with the naked eye. Let's talk about the observatory. You guys are taking folks there. Mm -hmm. Right. We're spending the full day there, uh, giving them time to go to the planetarium. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll probably show a movie on the bus each way about the observatory and entertain them. Great place. Uh, we're actually almost full at this point. Okay. Uh, we fill up our trips very easily. Usually have a waiting list. Mm -hmm. um, You'll get it. They have a lot of observa uh, a lot of uh, things to see there. A lot of exhibitions. Oh, yeah. um, great. There's the Leonard Nimoy Theater. So yeah. there's usually a oh, movie Oh, I didn't know they named it Leonard <laughs> Nimoy Theater. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. The whole basement is really packed with things yeah. to see, and. Yeah. Um, if I can jump in and mention that oh, we, okay. these are this is new this year that we make name tags for the field trip, but they're laminated, so it's your little souvenir for the event. Oh, isn't Stuart, that cute? Stuart uses it on a practical basis for getting on and off the bus, <laughs> yeah. making sure we have everybody. Just make sure you've got everybody. Don't lose anybody. Right. But you have a nice keepsake, so uh, yeah, great. we really have a lot of fun, and people seem to enjoy it. Okay. So. And well, our field trips are very inexpensive. You know, we're not yeah, we're not like we're not a for profit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because we're not hiring a tour company. We do it ourselves, okay. so we just try to cover the cost of the bus and the driver and, and the snacks and whatever. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for all the information. I really appreciate it. And, of course, if anyone wants to know more about this, they can contact you, Joe. Yes, my phone number, or, or Stuart for that matter, okay. but generally um, I'll answer any questions. And, and, again, for residents, whether you've been here a long time or, or there's a lot of new residents, it's really fun meeting new people looking for things to do. We'd like to invite them to come check us out. Yeah. Perfect. And just learn about the night sky. You know, we walk around, exactly. yeah. and you can't see a lot here, <laughs> but we're not very curious. And I was talking with a guy the other day, and he said, what is that? I said, that's Jupiter. He thought it was a star. Mm -hmm. So now when he looks bright. up, he knows it's Jupiter. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. And as we mentioned, you can always contact Joe at the number that's on your screen, or you can always look up their club on LagunaWoodsVillage.com. I'll be right back.